What's up, Collective? I hope you're doing amazing today. If you're new here, I am Earth Angel 111. Gonna do your love messages, okay? And they come in a nice shiny present. So let's see what we got. This could be from the person you're dating, person on your mind, person you're crushing on. But always, as I say, keep in mind they're love messages, so only take what resonates. Okay, first one, really strong and beautiful message says, every time I pray, I include you because you are such an incredible blessing in my life. Amen. We love a person who prays for us, okay? Feminine or masculine, that is a beautiful card to start with. Next one says, okay, you're definitely dealing with someone who's connected to spirit. Do you see what that card says? It says, I will forever be grateful to God for gifting you to me. You are not just my partner. You are my person. I'm incredibly lucky. That is beautiful. Whoever you're dealing with, I feel like they could have some type of tattoo to do with um, the Holy Spirit. So whether that's like a cross, okay, God, an angel, a cherub, Jesus, possibly palm, okay, something like this, a scripture, a Bible even. You're dealing with someone who's very much so connected to the Holy Spirit, Next one says, you don't know how beautiful you are to me. So beautiful or handsome, take it how it resonates. But you're dealing with someone who feels like they never seen anyone as attractive to them as you are. So starting out strong, collective. Wow, like three came out. First one says, I want to wake up next to you. So this is definitely someone who you could live at a distance from. Maybe they're thinking about what it would be like for the two of you to come together in love. Spend a night together or spend a lifetime together. With this, all this prayer and God stuff, I don't feel like you're dealing with someone who's into one night stands. I feel like they're into long lasting commitments. Next one says, I'm following my heart and my heart leads me to you every single time. Every time I try to run, my emotions get the better of me. I love you. So your person could be a runner. You could be the runner. They could be the runner. However it resonates, so they feel like no matter how far they run from this connection, they always feel pulled back to you or as if, they can't stay away from you too long because they start to miss you. Next one says they need my own space. So definitely dealing with your person, maybe a runner, but then it's like, you know, they'll be back. Maybe for some of you, you have dated this person before. For others of you, this could be more of a like cat and mouse starting out relationship. Like you guys haven't dated yet. You're just in the flirtating, flirtating, flirtatious stage. I don't even know what flirtating is. Okay, I'm making up words. <laughs> new love is about to enter your life you will find qualities in this new person you've been looking for in everyone else expect a match made from heaven so this is it i feel like for a lot of you you ask god for a divine partner someone who truly loves you and believes in the same spiritual beliefs as you because maybe as well as you guys have evolved you could be realizing like your types changed what you're looking for in a partner's changed and more so that you want someone who has a similar belief system as you so that if you decide to have a family together, you can agree on things, right? Like you never even think to realize, but it's like, if you're going to have kids together, if one person's religious and one person's not, one might be like, yeah, our kids need to go to Catholic school. And the other one's like, yeah, they're just going to public school or yeah, our kids need to go to private school. And the other one's like, yeah. So I feel like you guys are at the point in your life where you're starting to put those two and two thoughts together. Dating someone for the long term means dating someone who you know if you decide to have a family with or you stay with long term and get married to, you're going to pick someone who has similar beliefs as you so that the relationship is easier to sustain, right? Not being unrealistic and trying to get the bad boy or the bad girl that you know doesn't want long term or isn't on the same page as you or like I said about wanting a family, you don't want to date someone anymore. What if they're like, yeah, I never want to get married. I never want a family. Well then, okay, have fun in life, right? So I feel like you guys have manifested this in from the Lord, from divine. You want someone who's more on your level now, and this is what you're about to get. So congratulations. Next one says, wow, literally didn't even see the cards yet and wait till you hear this, okay? So the message says they see you as long-term relationship material, amen. So I feel like that's a specific message for a few of you out there. Maybe in the past, you always dated people because you wanted them to change. You wanted them to see long term with you. But then you started to realize those people did not want long term relationships. They wanted fun flings and then they wanted to move on to someone else. And this person, they truly view you as long term relationship material. And not only that, but they want that as well. So congratulations. You found someone who's on the same page as you guys. 
Next one says, I want a future with you. Kids, pets, the nice house, the cottage, the dream life with you sounds perfect. Literally took my intuition on point out of my mouth, okay? So yeah, you're manifesting someone who does want the same things as you. Like I was saying about building a family. For those of you that already have children, possibly from a previous marriage. Ooh, cars just flew there. Maybe it's going to be about like having grandkids, okay? Or raising your families together or having pets. Hey, pets works too. <laughs> Whatever you guys are into. But definitely something about a cottage. Sounds lovely. Next one says let go of them. Wow, so your person wants you to let go of your past. If you um were previously connected to someone else, they need you to let go of that connection or relationship or anyone else that's in the way, okay? This could also be a message from spirit too, saying let go of your past. New love is here to stay, okay? And that's what spirit wants you to know and your person. So a lot of you, this is a new relationship. It says I want to be the only one you need. So for those of you that resonate with having kids in a previous relationship, they could feel like you have too um, close of a relationship still. Like, I get it. I personally don't have kids. But if you have, like, kids with someone, you know, they say you'll always have that special bond with that person. But this person could feel like is it's too borderline almost in a relationship or not. So they're almost wondering, are you going to be able to fully let go of the relationship in order for the two of you guys to truly have a new beginning together. Because this is what your person wants. This is what they see. But ultimately, they want to be the only person you need. They don't want you to be running back to this person or that person. And hey, if you don't resonate with having a family with someone else before. Maybe you were married to someone else. Maybe you guys have separated now but you're still in close contact. Or for others of you, this could just be someone else who they know is interested in you. And they feel like you could be playing games with them into one person into them and they want to know are you going to let go of anyone else in order to have this long-term commitment with your person next one says talking to you is the best part of my day so your person feels like every time you guys are in communication it's literally the highlight of their day that is so sweet uh, i just thought of like hockey like sports real highlights so for some of you this person could love sports any sport in particular but yeah, I feel like it's the highlight of their day. Maybe for some of you, this person knows you like sports too. So they could be thinking about how cool it would be to have a family and you're like football Sunday or like basketball Saturdays. Okay, stuff like that. I feel like that is so sweet. Okay, so next one says, I'm going to come forward soon. I'm just scared to say or do the wrong thing. So there's your person all up in their head. They feel like you're too good to be true. They could also feel like you have someone else interested in you. So your person wants to know, are you truly just committed to them or are you interested in other people as well? That's the tea. Okay, I'm actually sipping on coffee, but that's the coffee. Maybe you and your person also love coffee. Okay, that could be a thing or tea. It says, you are all I need. So there you go. This is what they want to hear you say too, I feel like, because... Maybe somewhere down the line, your person's made it very clear or evident to you that they only want to be with you. And you may want to check out the reading, actually, I just did earlier. If you're Divine Feminine, y'all, it was like you have two options between a fire sign and a water sign. That could maybe resonate with you guys. Maybe you know you have two amazing people interested in you love, but it's going to be up to you to pick one and one's going to be heartbroken, okay? And if that resonates, I feel like don't waste anyone's time, you know, like really move forward and make the decision that's right for you though long term really think about what's going to be the best fit for you long term and go forward because you don't want to hold on to people and waste their time and break their heart and play games with them right you really just want to be honest and upfront about your feelings so and whoever you're watching for obviously if you do have more than one option you're watching for one person in specific right now so you know that that's the choice you want to be with at the end of the day just saying so next one says i've never met anyone quite like you you are a breath of fresh air your beauty captivates me every single time i look at you that is so sweet so this person in particular feels like you are beautiful you're handsome you're unique looking they feel like you are unlike anyone they've ever looked at before could be something about how you dress how you style yourself how you take care of yourself they find you to be very attractive that is so sweet. So final message, you guys. This person wants to protect you. 